On the 1st of January 2014, during the crossover night, Prophet Jeremiah Emetufufain gave a prophecy concerning a strange sickness. He urged people to pray against a strange sickness this year. These were his words. This year, on cette année, strange sickness. Les maladies étranges. Oh, je pray against. Nous devons prier. Strange sickness. Contre les maladies étranges. This year. In confirmation of the prophecy of the man of God, a few months later, the World Health Organization reported an Ebola virus outbreak. In March 2014, a rapidly evolving outbreak of Ebola viral disease started in forested areas of southeastern Guinea, a West African country. The drivers of the infection are fruit bats, which are considered to be natural hosts of the Ebola virus. The virus is transmitted when a person comes in contact with the blood or body fluids of an animal or person who is infected. It is the worst Ebola outbreak in history, and it continues to wreak havoc across West Africa. The World Health Organization says there have now been at least 660 deaths from the disease since March, and there is no sign of it slowing down. It's probably going to be several months before we are able to get a grip on this epidemic and uh, this outbreak and reduce the numbers of cases. The number of total cases is nearly 1,100, most of those in Guinea where the outbreak originated. 314 people have died there so far. In Sierra Leone, the death toll 219. And in Liberia, the virus has claimed 127 lives. The numbers are rising, even health workers not immune. Just this week, 39-year-old Dr. Sheikh Umar Khan contracted the disease. The brave physician treated more than 100 Ebola patients in Sierra Leone. He is now quarantined. Fear has also gripped some affected communities, some people proclaiming that the epidemic is a punishment for past sins, while other local leaders have spread rumors that the white people were conducting experiments on them. Some are failing to remain in quarantine and spread the infection. People are isolated, they're afraid, they're scared, they think that outsiders are bringing Ebola to them instead of uh, trying to help them get rid of Ebola. Uh, so I think the key is community leaders and religious leaders and we're working very hard to convince them that they should collaborate with us in educating their communities. A Doctors Without Borders clinic in Guinea was attacked in April forcing the group to briefly abandon its mission and a Red Cross facility had to be closed after men brandishing knives threatened the healthcare workers. There are now even more fears of the disease spreading further east into Nigeria after a man hospitalized in Lagos died according to news agencies. He had collapsed shortly after arriving from Liberia. Doctors confirmed he tested positive for Ebola. Ebola is a frightening disease because it kills up to 90% of the people it infects and there is no treatment or vaccine available. It's transmitted to humans from bodily fluids of infected wild animals. It then spreads among humans through contact with blood or other bodily fluids. This year, on cette année, Strange sickness. Les maladies étranges. Oh, je pray against. Nous devons prier. Strange sickness. Contre les maladies étranges. This year. When a disease is this contagious, even cautious medical professionals are at serious risk. The virus spreads through contact with bodily fluids and is fatal in up to 90% of cases. Two Americans working at treatment centers in Liberia have been infected. One of them, 33-year-old Dr. Carl Brantley, seen here on the left. The World Health Organization has told the BBC that in total, around 100 health workers in West Africa have been infected this year. Half of them have died. This is the deadliest outbreak of Ebola on record. The latest figures from the World Health Organization show more than 1,200 people have been infected in Guinea, Sierra Leone and Liberia. And around 670 of them have died. More than 300 of those deaths were in Guinea, more than 200 in Sierra Leone and more than 100 in Liberia. And now the first death on Nigerian soil. 
A Liberian man died after flying from Monrovia to Lagos. That case highlighting how difficult it is to prevent infected people from travelling. Screening systems in West Africa are weak and the initial symptoms of the disease, including fever and a sore throat, resemble many other illnesses. So Liberia has now closed most of its border crossings and set up testing centres at the few major entry points which remain open, including its international airport. In Nigeria, all points of entry, air, sea and land, have been placed on red alert, trying to halt the further spread of one of the world's most virulent diseases, which has no vaccine and no cure. Emily Thomas, BBC News. This year, on cette année, strange sickness, des maladies étranges, which we pray against, nous devons prier, Strange sickness. Contre les maladies étranges. This year. Matthew 24, verse 3. And as Jesus sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. Second Chronicles 2020 Believe in your prophets, so shall ye prosper.